there at the moment is that the government is near collapse. It's trying to actually reduce its budget deficit. It's having a very hard time, namely because there's this munitions dump that went up. They'd actually been taking munitions, they'd taken off munitions off these uh, Iranian boats. 98 containers full of gunpowder, they put them in a field under the blazing Mediterranean sun, kaboom they went off, they took out the power station, half of Cyprus's electricity supply. And that's a huge deal, this explosion last month has actually put the economy at risk. At, uh, but Moody's is saying, Moody's downgraded them just last week, S&P did, did a downgrade on Friday, but Moody says this probably means they're going to have zero economic growth, they were looking at 1.5% economic growth before, zero economic growth now, and then that's obviously going to have an impact on your tax revenues, which is very difficult when you're trying to get your budget deficit down. Yes, yeah, so it will directly have an impact on the economy as a whole. Yeah, but the big issue is the banks, because the banks, the assets, their assets represent something like 600% of GDP in Cyprus, mm -hmm. but they've also got a huge amount of loans in Greece, the sovereign, they're, they're holding sovereign debt, but they've also got bank loan exposure. That's 160% of Cyprus's total GDP. So the risk is if they start losing their money on some of their Greek loans, the government has to come in, recapitalize them at a time when it's looking around for money in order to rebuild the power station. And that's why people are looking at this and thinking, ah, this is a problem, this country might need a but bailout. Why, why is it such a problem? Because Cyprus's economy is so small in comparison to the rest of the Eurozone. Yeah, well, that's exactly right. But just think about it, when Angela Merkel is trying to get the deal to stop contagion through in Germany, and she's going to be confronted with the headlines that a fourth club med country, if you like, needs a bailout. It's not good politically. Yeah, certainly. David, thank you. Our economics editor there, David Tweed. Let's go back to one of our